I only stand here today because of Joshua. Man, I think Clive is a badass. I for this chance. I slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. <laughs> I think Clive might be one of my favorite protagonists. Like of the Final Fantasy series. He seems pretty cool, man. Ready, my lady. Ready. Yo, hey, Eggy. Man, um, yeah, so Ryan probably messaged you, but apparent but I forgot. He he he's the one that took the name. <laughs> so we'll just use okay, yeah, we'll just use that one. I should have waited before I like tweeted it out and shit. Holy shit, what the fuck is all this shit? Man, I think it's cool they made Ifrit badass in this one. Because Ifrit's like kind of a lower level like summon, right? But in this he seems really fucking badass. Thank you. And that is not uh, the only video we're going to be showing you. We have uh, uh, many more videos to be showing you today, so please look forward to them as well. Everything you saw here, this is not okay. pre-rendered. This is all running in real time in engine. Um, it is a variable roller coaster ride of a game. All right, next we'd like to talk a little bit about the world. Valistia? All right, uh, so the realm of Valistia um, is made from uh, five different nations and one uh, neutral city-state. So across the realm um, can be found the Mother Crystals, these towering wellsprings of life and magic around which civilization, civilization thrives. Um, one might think of these um, as oil fields. And these oil fields, these Mother Crystals, are where the realm gains its energy that powers their everyday lives, the ether, which can be compared to uh, oil. And so this resource, however, proves to be finite. And because of that, this bitter struggle arises amongst the nations over control of what little remains. Man, this is just like Seven's plot. And that brings us into the current age of war and strife. And so we're going to be showing some of the areas that are available for exploration in Final Fantasy 16 with this short walkthrough video. Let's begin. I don't know, man. I'm just a Clive simp, dude. I think he looks cool. I like that thing on his face. I think his armor is cool. Oh, you get a fucking Jacobo. Now that's really pretty. Man, I bet you this, man, I bet you 16 is going to be one of, if not the best Final Fantasy. I bet this is going to like, I don't know, man. I just got a good feeling about this game. I don't know why. I don't know. I can't explain it. When I first saw this game, I didn't think anything of it, man. When they first were talking about it and showed stuff of it, I was like, eh, I mean, it looks okay. It looks, eh, it's okay. But, like, every single fucking trailer that they've shown, like, dude, that looks so badass, man. Every single trailer and all the new information that they keep, you know, revealing, I just keep liking it more and more and more and more and more and more and more.
Thank you very much. Um, these are all areas that Clive will be able to go to and explore and have battles. And again, we hope you have fun exploring the world and hope you look forward to it. Man, where's the, oh, the bald guy? He's in the middle. I like that bald guy. All right, next we'd like to shift focus um, to our characters, uh, specifically the dominants, these wardens of the elements and the keepers of the icons that play such a central role in our narrative. Dude, that girl to the right of the bald guy, man, I want her to step on me, dude. I'd be her pee pee poo poo piss boy. Icon is the Final Fantasy 16 name for what fans of the series will known as the summons. These mythical, um, giant, magical beasts of legend, um, capable of taking out entire nations if not kept in check. Um, in Final Fantasy 16, their size ranges from 60 feet to over 350 feet tall. But unlike uh, other Final Fantasies, Final Fantasy 16, I. 16's icons are not summoned, um, but it is the dominants who literally become the icons themselves. Ah, okay. Yeah, Koji seems super nervous, man. That's really weird. Um, but icons are not just about battle. In Final Fantasy 16, we deeply explore the backgrounds of each one, um, and we find that their fates uh, vary greatly based on where they reside. Some are revered as heroes, while others are forced to fight and are treated as slaves. Again, one of our central points of our narrative is going to be learning what drives these dominants. What are their aspirations and what are their desires? Yeah, where maybe not. Fight? Maybe what nervous was the wrong way. Hey, He's just talking really cool. fast, man. But maybe they're on like really limited time, right you know? Now, let's take a quick look at our main protagonist, Clive Rosfield. I just want you guys to know that that is as much beard that we will ever get in a Final Fantasy XIV. We will never get any more beard than what you're looking at now. And so, um, our story in Final Fantasy XVI follows Clive Rosfield through three important stages of his life. As you can see here from the left, um, his teens, his 20s, and his 30s. By experiencing firsthand um, these events that shape and mold Clive, um, we can better understand, the player can better understand what it is um, that motivates him and why he eventually becomes the person that he does. Apparently the dog is named after the main character in Last Remnant. I didn't know that. Our story starts um, with Clive obsessed in his pursuit of revenge uh, for the loss of his brother. Um, but across his journey, that will slowly change um, through chance encounters that ultimately open I never really played, played The Last Remnant. But Clive is not alone in his journey um, and is accompanied by his faithful hound, Torgal, who in addition to being soft and lovable and such a good, good, good boy, <laughs> is fiercely loyal and a good deadly fighter. Boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> such a good boy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So yes, the story is not only about Clive, but it's Torgal's oh. story as well. Oh, Torgal was a cat person. Oh yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was a character right, in Last Remnant or something. A little more about our twin-tiered battle system that I mentioned before. So Final Fantasy 16's combat can be split up into two different types. The first being player versus enemy battles, in which Clive himself fights against creatures using a customizable combination of unique and powerful iconic abilities acquired from the different icons he meets along his journey. And our second type of battle are the icon versus <laughs> icon battles, in which Clive himself becomes an icon to clash with. No ghost, that's awesome. Um, these unique massive scale encounters are all created um, from the ground up to have this unique feel to each of them, that it's not going to be the same every time. Okay, so next up, um, we have a video that's going to showcase the first type of battle, the one that showcases Clive's iconic abilities. As for the iconic clashes, we have another video for later uh, in the presentation. So let's watch this first one on iconic abilities. Man, that like dash in is sick. Dude, that's fucking sick, man. Dude, this is just like DMC5, bro. Before this game comes out, I'm going to run through DMC5 again. Dude, that shit is awesome. What? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? No! 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 What are you doing? This is unbelievable. All right. What do you have to say about this? What do you have to say about this? Why are you blue balling us right now? You show the fight, you show the battles, and now you just this, 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 fucking cut the stream. Fucking cut the stream. You kidding me right now? Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. You know what else is unbelievable? I my fucking green screen. God damn it! Why is it like this? Oh. Uh, Okay, everything's fine now. The illusion is created. Is oh. Oh my fucking god. Yo, even the- what the fuck? Bro, even this is- 
I want to see the video. I'm making a call. Hello. Hello. Yes, it's this, Pax. I want to make a formal complaint. Oh, wait. Okay, listen up. This is Ames here. Now, I want to make a formal complaint. And the complaint is that, well, your stream is really dumb. And it doesn't work. And I want it to. And I want to watch the video. But I can't. And I'm mad. And please. Turn on the video. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck me, man. Is the react over? Yo, look at this cone on my head. It's my true calling. It's the true dink dunk. Oh my fucking god. They're not gonna replay the video? They'll probably upload them, right? So again, um, to prove to you that the game isn't all tight quarters shrouded in everlasting darkness, let me whip out the old PS5 to show you one of our more larger explorable areas that we call fields. I hear. All right, let's uh, switch the screen. Shrouded in darkness, consumed with agony. It is much unfortunate that is not the case. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Are you fucking for real? All right, I don't care anymore. I don't care. I'm not gonna watch it if it's like this, guys. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna watch the recap. I'm gonna watch the recap later, man. Look, I'm playing RE4. I don't know, man. Dante's pretty badass. I don't know, I guess we'll have to see. Oh, that's pretty dope. Dude, that's fucking judgment cut or whatever, man. It's kind of crazy this is a Final Fantasy. Oh wow, is that like Garuda plus Ifrit or something? Dude, that's Oof. sick. That was sick. Thank you very much. All right, and uh, again, what you saw um, in this video is only a fraction of the different type of uh, combinations that are available um, and uh, achievable through our uh, unique system. Hey, Yeasty, so thanks for the resub. More of that information in the also, video. Knight and JP, thank you guys as well. Okay, and so um, one might think um, that what we've shown you might be enough to satisfy the masses, but no, there are still questions. And so um, we understand that with all the information out there, um, it can be sometimes to be hard to find all the answers. We did our media tour, but there's still a lot of the questions. So we want to touch on a few of those today. Dude, I would have sucked a dick to become a part of that fucking oh, um, yeah, Final the, Fantasy the 16 media see, tour. Um, up here, uh, this old man, he's actually a very, very important character in the game. So, um, this is actually uh, the Valsian media lore master, um, and he knows all about the world. Um, Yoshisan kind of compared him to me. Yeah. Aw, thanks. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> and so these are the type of questions um, that we had. Yo, Reem, thank us. you for the resub. So all of these burning questions, and we're going to be doing that here today using the power of the PlayStation 5. All right, so let's start with this one, or these two, to be specific. Yeah, huh, we what? got a lot of this. Why is it so dark? Um, Why there is I don't so care about this question. A miniature focus was on 16's action elements. The area showcase was not a field, but a stage. 16 has many different stages in addition to fields. Map size, design, layout are unique to each. Okay, they're going to talk about all that crap. Hey, now we're going to unpause. Here we go. Wow. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Controller. I just want to show. Look, look, look. <laughs> This is not a video. 
Wow, that okay. looks awesome. Dude, I love water. Dude, I got chills, man. Holy shit. I had to show you was real. まあ、あの、バリスゼアの世界、これフィールドと呼ばれる、まあ、大体2km×2km四方のエリアになりますが、かなりね、広いマップっていうのももちろん用意されてます。So again, we do have these uh, very open spacious areas. Um, this one happens to be uh, again about 2. Man, that looks really nice too. 2 kilometers by 2 kilometers in size. で、ちょっと進んでみましょうか。All right, let's uh, head over this way. で、まあ、これ普通のハイファンタジーの世界にはね、存在しないオブジェクトですが、こちら戦国の名前の存在したと言われる空の文明と言われる謎のね、え、古代文明の遺跡が各所に点在してます。Again, we mentioned before um, that the game is high fantasy, but everywhere in the world you're going to see these type of old relics from an ancient civilization which we call the Fallen, um, which existed up until about 1500 years ago. で、実際このフィールドの中にはこうやった人々がね、集まってキャンプなどが開かれて Dude, look at the like the man, look at this. This shit's crazy. ね、集まってキャンプ Look at the rocks, man. Man, that looks really good. Just like the different like lighting and the textures and shit, you know? などが開かれていたりします and of course, um, in these uh, large fields, it's not just places for battle, but you also have towns um, and encampments as well. And as you see, it's all seamless from field into town. <laughs> Dynamic conversations. Yo, you know what I bet, man? Dude, I bet you this is what Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two was gonna be like. Like, I thought Final Fantasy VII Remake was one of like the best remakes of all time. I guess I liked what they did to the story. So if you didn't like what they did to the story, then you then you probably disagree. But I liked what they did with the story. I thought it was awesome. When he entered town like that, right? And then the music kicked in, man. It just reminded me of like of like being in the um. It like reminded me of like when you were in the combat area, like in the slums, and then you went into uh, the town that Aerith was in, you know, like like Sector 7 or whatever the fuck it is. You know what I mean? That's what it kind of reminded me of. <laughs> Dynamic conversations. で、あんまり進むとえ、ストーリーが進んでしまってスポイラーになるので、Okay, yeah, we can't go any further. It's about 145 more yards to the next part, and we, it will, we can't show you that, so we're going to stop here, <laughs> and we're going to show you the world map. Final Fantasy XVI world map. So, um, with Final Fantasy XVI, wow. um, we have this world map, and these are the areas uh, that you can explore. で、実際にプレイヤーの皆さんは物語を進めていくと、このワールドマップに行けるエリアというのがどんどんアンロックされていきます。And as you proceed through the story, you'll be unlocking more and more areas that you can visit. I'm telling you, man, this is going to be one of the best Final Fantasies ever。物語の展開が起こったりするんですけど、もちろんそれに従わずに他のエリアに行って、あの、アイテムを取ってきたり、え、もう ポテンシャルポテンシャルことも自由にプレイできるようになってます。and again, of course, players can choose to, again, follow the main scenario along when you unlock new areas, or you can go back to the areas that you previously visited um, to have battles or search for items uh, and just explore. Alright, and now we're going to show you... Also, here's one thing, man, that's important to me. Okay, Final Fantasy X, you can like or not like that game, but one thing that you cannot say about that game is lacking in content. That game has a ridiculous amount of like side quests and areas and just 
extra shit that you can do that's not even a part of the main game. And I really hope that this game has a lot of stuff like that. And here was my problem with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Don't get me wrong, the story is important, it's great, it's very important, but you can only do it once. And once you do it, that's it. Unless you just want to replay it again, there's literally no reason to play the game again. That was one thing that I hated about Final Fantasy VII Remake is that there was virtually no additional content content like none it was this the story and that was it i mean basically like yeah there was a hard mode but didn't really matter didn't really matter it's literally the same game except for you to, you you don't regen mana like it's not even it's not even that hard <laughs> not even that hard so you thought it was hard as fuck i thought it was the easiest shit i thought it was barely harder than normal mode but my point here is that i hope that this game has a shit ton of like extra content to do that you don't have to do um, what it's like to actually travel to an area and how much loading time there is. <laughs> who are you? And here we go. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six. All right, here we are. Not too bad. Okay, okay, I wasn't too bad. That's pretty good. That's right, yeah, we, it's just short enough that we don't have to put a now loading symbol on it. <laughs> 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 oh, true. True. Just short enough, dude. All right, so next up, I want to show you a different type of area, an area that has a little bit more of uh, our RPG elements in Final Fantasy 16. So we're going to have to switch our save data. <sighs> oh, we forgot something. Okay, um, so as you can see here, um, we have two different game performance modes, one that focuses on graphics and 4K graphics, and one that is, focuses more on frame rate. Um, because our stream today is in 2K, we've decided to do uh, the frame rate performance mode. But as you can see here, um, this can be changed at any time during gameplay. You can go from back and forth between frame rate and graphics at any time you want. Um, so uh, match it up with your play style if you're more into the action in that frame oh, rate. Oh, wow. Use that frame rate mode. If you just yo, 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 hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. He fucked up. He fucked up. Wow, that's like the sphere grid. Oh, look. This might be like Garuda's abilities or something. And this is maybe like Ifrit's. And this, is, and this might be Rama ability points, 447. Okay, so these, so this is the, the amount of points he has. This is how much it costs. Holy fuck, bro. Two, that, 2390 in comparison to like all these others. More into the action in that frame rate. Choose that frame rate mode. If you just want the beautiful experience, feel free to go with the graphics. Do all. All right, so I love this fear grid, actually. Oh, dude, uh, what the fuck? Uh, all right. Yeah. So <laughs> Yo, let's go, dude. The sprites. That's sick. Let's uh, load. Okay, let's go to the next data, and here we are. That was it. Very quick. Yes. All right, so next up we have an area that's called the hideaway. Um, and this is an area that's run um, by Sid someone that Clive meets along his journey. And this is kind of like a hub or a safe area where Clive can return in between his adventures. Yo, it's the Firelink Shrine. So inside the hide... Oh, maybe that's magic. That's icon damage. Oh, it's... No, 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 it's stagger. Oh, it's stagger. Okay. By the way, Clive will find different facilities, such as this shop um, run by Lady Karen. And here, uh, Clive can buy weapons. Yo, real talk. These stats right here, HP, attack, defense, something else. They maybe could have added one more and I would have been cool. I like minimal stats like this. Like I hate in games when you have like 10 different stats or 12 different stats and half of them don't even matter. Here, accessories. Oh, reduces Rook Gambit's cooldown by 2.7 seconds. Okay, so basically your accessories are gonna like, they're gonna have a trade on them. So it's like potential, like the accessory could like break the fucking game. Well, I mean, not break it, but it could be like super fucking good, you know? As well as uh, the items like potions, the consumables. Oh, Torgal's sleeping. Aww. Uh, Music's kind of lit. And here we have the Hideaway's uh, master blacksmith, uh, Blackthorn. 
So then you might only get one weapon in the game. You just take that weapon and constantly upgrade it. Here, uh, Clive can bring the materials that he's gathered on his journey to craft new uh, gear or upgrade his existing gear. As you can see there in the background with those exclamation points, those are uh, side quests uh, that start from the hideaway. Of course, there are also side quests that will uh, start in other locations as well, but most of them start from here in the, in the hideaway. Oh, nice cloak. I want one. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> All right, and next up we have um, this item that's called the Arete Stone. So within this virtual uh, kind of world, we have a supplementary con special supplementary content such as battle training. We also have what's called an arcade mode where players um, can compete for high scores and uh, compare their scores with players from around the world. On oh, the that's kind of cool. And of course, um, we also have a stage replay. So any of the stages um, that players have played and completed, they can go back and replay them at any time. Wait, question, question, question? What? What's that? No. Question. The question. option is locked. Secret. Secret. <laughs> okay. Okay. So again, um, this is that safe zone where Clive can go at any time in his journey. And so when you need a break um, for the main story, the hideaway is where the fun continues. But there's the question. So are all of Final Fantasy XIV's battle cutscenes QTE driven? No. That is no. Okay, that's good. Um, just as the, is the case with a lot of players, neither the director, Takai-san, or myself really enjoy those QTEs that are overly long or really, really complex. But again, you know, we all saw the screenshots, we all saw the gameplay footage, there was QTE. Let me explain what that was. So in Final Fantasy 16, we have a lot of different boss battles, and in those boss battles, um, they're split up into multiple phases. I know Another one boss. cutie strummer. During each phase, no. I will wail away on a boss until it's hit points get to a certain amount. And when the boss's hit points are reduced to that amount, the battle will transition to a new phase. No! 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 no. You! You're cute. And again, in Final Fantasy 16, this transition is all done seamlessly. And so we'll have these cutscenes that will help us transition, um, whether it be a transformation of the boss, or whether it be the environment, something is happening in the environment, something's breaking down, um, or Clive needs to be in a new position. And so in these transition cutscenes, rather than just have the player sit back and watch um, the cutscene and do nothing, um, to give you all that a dynamic feel, like you're really in the action, we've added this simple prompts for attack and evasion. We want to assure you with is that while missing a QTE will change um, the outcome of a cutscene transition, it will never result in a game over. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, so, yeah, so they don't really matter. So also, there are only three types of these commands that are ever used. Attack, press and square, uh, evade, pressing R1, or a clash where you button mash the square. Um, and again, these are used to correspond to what's actually going on in the cutscene. So um, when there's a cutscene, you don't have to put your controller down. You can keep holding on to it, and, you know, take up the part of Clive, really be a part of the battle. And also, um, with these uh, mini QTEs that we have in the game, um, again, the amount of time that you get um, to press the button is actually, you have a lot of time. It's not actually that quick. Slow. Slow <laughs> time event, SDE. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I got old reflexes. Again, it's, it's not something the players are going to need to worry about during the battles. Um, they're very leisure. All right, let's go up to, uh, to the next burning question. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Again, I, un I really, really understand this as a player myself. So I'm gonna start off by, I apologize. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Again, but just like you, again, we on the dev team, we all love turn-based games. Again, we grew up on turn-based games. He's going to explain how turn-based games are not the thing anymore, and he wants to draw more people into Final Fantasy series, and you're not going to do that with turn-based games. That's my prediction. And again, but we also really, really love action games, maybe even a little bit more um, now that we're older. And we wanted um, to take this opportunity to make the next Final Fantasy into um, something that was going to challenge ourselves, and we wanted to challenge ourselves um, with making a full action-based uh, Final Fantasy game. Something that, um, you know, shows the world the potential of the series. 
<laughs> this is smart, man. Now, this is smart because what this does is this opens the door to anybody that likes Dark Souls, Devil May Cry, any of those type of games. Because anybody that likes third-person action is probably going to at least try it. Strummer, I was wondering if for FanFest you are going to go with thigh highs or yoga pants. But Final Fantasy well, isn't just for those well. players who excel at action games. We want everyone to play it. Even that guy right there. In the third row, I think I talked to him earlier. He said, Koji, I'm not good at action games. Like, no. For everyone, even <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, that's all me. He can? That guy can? Okay. <laughs> but not that guy. He told me this morning. <laughs> but again, to make the game both accessible and enjoyable to everyone, um, we developed these in-game equipable items known as the timely accessories um, that make the game accessible. And we're going to show you how they work using the power of the PlayStation 5. So let's go back <laughs> to uh, the PlayStation 5 screen. Oh, they're just going to show Need like to the auto dodge and shit yes. like that, uh, man. Area change. Area change. Yeah. Area no, 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 no. <laughs> Save number two, three. Three. Yes, three. Oh, you're going to Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go to a different section of the area that we uh, did the walkthrough before. Okay, so this is the, the gear equipped screen, and we see at those bottom three uh, slots for accessories. We have nothing equipped in the accessory slots. Dude, that literally looks like Thanalan. <laughs> okay, so by pressing the L2 button, that cycles through um, the three icons that you have channeled. Okay, so first we're going to go through a battle, and this is all manual. We have none of the helpful accessories equipped. So you press R1 to evade. See him evading there. And then you have uh, Jill and Torgal are fighting automatically. That was a Jill and Torgal are fighting automatically. That was a good. That was a good judge. And that was a bad one. Dodge. Whoa, did that slow down time? Dude, that Storm Panther is fucking tanky. You're pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, each enemy has a, uh, of these larger enemies have what's called a will gauge. Um, when you get their will down to zero, they will be staggered and fall like this, and for free for all on Holy the Holy shit, bro! Bro, that Titan move just absolutely fucking destroyed. Enemy has a uh, of these larger enemies have what's called a will gauge. Um, when you get their will down to zero, they will be staggered and fall like this, and for free for all on the down enemy. Man, I'm glad Titan's big dick. Hey, Diffie. Woo! Woo! How much practice? Huh? How much four, practice? Four times. Four times? <laughs> Alright, and again, that was with none of the helpful uh, timely accessories equipped. And so, um, again, I'm not as good as this as a lot of players are, um, and, but that's what it's like at the base difficulty.
、えー、ここでですねちょっとアクションゲーム苦手だという方におすすめのサポートアクセサリーをご紹介します。Again, we can understand that even that be, can be very overwhelming for players that aren't used to action type of games. And so now we want to equip the timely accessories. えー、今回ファイナルファンタジー6シクシティ難易度を選択するといったような考え方ありませんこのアクセサリーを使うことでコンプレックスアビリティコンビネーションズ can be executed by simply pressing square コンプレックスアビリティコンビネーションズ can be executed by simply pressing square So again, with Final Fantasy 16, we don't have the traditional difficulty system where you Live will automatically evade attacks as long as the attack can be evaded Choose like easy mode or normal mode or hard mode.、Um, the difficulty is the same, and we change the difficulty, and each player can customize their own difficulty by equipping or unequipping these timely accessories to basically match their own skill level. I mean, that's good and bad. So, yeah, no, I think it's more good than bad. I think that it's only going to be bad if. There's basically no reason to never have them on. I feel like those should be purely for the story and nothing else. You could lose your accessory slots that could be used on something better. You're telling me that there's gonna be something better than an auto dodge? That'd have to be pretty fucking good. Double damage isn't better. You take longer to kill it, but, you, but you're invulnerable. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, so that's good. Yeah, you'll get like a lower score. Okay, well then, yeah, that's good. There has to be some reward for beating the game or beating bosses or fights or whatever without this shit. That's all I'm trying to say. So, first off, we're going to equip what's called、uh, the Ring of Timely Strikes. There isn't. I mean, you don't know that. I mean, we don't, we don't know that, though. They haven't released all the information. So we want you to see what it's,、uh, compare it to what you saw before.、Um, before, it's fully manual, having to press all of the buttons and all of the combinations to do the attacks. This condenses it all down into、uh, the square button only. And we want you to see how that differs.、Um, and the next up, we're going to equip what's called the Ring of Timely Focus. And with this ring, what happens is when something is about to attack Clive, or there's an incoming attack, right before it hits Clive, the game will slow down and Clive will be prompt、uh, to press R1 to evade out of the way. So it basically slows down the action to allow for、uh, easier evasion. Okay, so I guess it's not auto dodge, at least. All right, let's look for a different animal. Let's find,、uh, before it was a storm panther, now let's find the stronger curl. Yeah, let's see. まず攻撃を避けます。はい、それでは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私はい。Because of those whips, those. Well, not that one, but like this thing where he charges his whips, man, that might be. Unless the evasion like window well, is kind of high.、Uh, multiple attacks in a row. Each one will stop. And now next we're going to show the auto attack. And now he's only pressing square and he's able to do these combinations. Oh, okay. You can play one handed. Cool. Ta! <laughs> だからここまでそのサポートしてもらうと本当片手でもこれぐらい遊べちゃいます。And again,、um, you know, these, the ring of timely focus and the ring of timely strikes condense、uh, the action down into something so simple that you can play with one hand. もちろんだからこのオートスローだけをつけてアクションはね自分でやるっていうのも楽しみ方の一つなんじゃないかなと思ってます。Okay, 
I think that's more broken than the dodge, actually. Not only is that 14 combo, but that's putting like, that's like doing inner release and then following up inner release with a gnashing fang combo and then following that up with a fucking confetti or combo. And another option, again, because these can be combined in any way you want. For example, if this is too easy, maybe only equip the ring of timely focus that helps you with evasion, but then decide to do all of the uh, action manually. I think that's more I think I think actually that's more broken than the dodging. Maybe not though, but I think it is. Again, um, in addition to these uh, two that we've shown you already, there are many more uh, of the timely uh, accessories. There's even one, for example, um, if you know, slowing down time is still too much for some players. We have an accessory that will completely automate evasion, so you don't even have to press anything and you'll uh, dodge oh, out of the way automatically. Wow, so it's okay, okay. It's all about okay. finding um, what's difficult for you, what's easy for you, and finding a combination that works. I, I think all this shit is good. I really do. But my only problem, man, my only problem, and I mean, I'm not trying to sound like an elitist prick, but like, there has to be some incentive to not using these. I mean, if there's not, then I guess it's just like a personal thing, you know? Yeah, I did it without these things, but I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like people have to know that like if you use these accessories, then you should not... How do I want to say this in a, in a, in a nice way? <laughs> if you use this shit, you're not going to be on the same level as somebody that doesn't use this shit. You know what I mean? Wait, didn't I clear God of War you abusing dodge? Pit? Well, yeah, but that was that was skill based. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's like the we are not the same meme. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <sighs> well, not everyone cares about that though, but 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 that's exactly my point, right? They're trying to cater to as many people as possible. I just don't see why everybody thinks that they have to play the game to enjoy the story. I just don't get it. I've never understood that. You can just watch it on fucking YouTube, man. I'm very open-minded when it comes to shit like this, but like, fuck, dude. It's it's just like, god damn. Like, dude, the game, like the game is playing itself. I mean, don't you think there's something wrong with that? Like just a little bit? I don't think it's gatekeeping though because they're trying to cater to as many people as possible, right? So why should the shitters, sorry for lack of a better way to say it, why should the shitters get priority over people that want to challenge themselves, right? So you can cater to both audiences. You can put the shit in the game and, you know, play through the whole story and shit, but there needs to be an incentive to not use it for the people that actually want to challenge. Like there needs to be like some type of achievement. See, I don't know, man. Just because it's a single player game, that doesn't matter. Like you guys are just thinking about one audience. You need to think about the other side too. I don't know. For some reason, man, you're feeling like super sympathetic to the people that are bad. And I'm not saying that those people shouldn't, shouldn't enjoy the game. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is the people that want to challenge themselves. Like basically what you guys are saying is fuck the people that want to challenge themselves. Let's just cater to the shitters. That's what some of you are saying. And I'm saying they should cater to everybody. That's what I'm trying to say. Catering to casuals brings in money from... A, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I agree that these that this shit s should still be in the game. I mean, does it have a hard mode? I mean, it might. I have no idea. All I'm saying, man, is that I think that these things being in the game is good. However... There needs to be a reason to not use this shit. That's all I'm trying to say. Why shouldn't the reason to not use them be that you don't want to use them, though? Because uh, it's lazy. <laughs> Honestly, because it's fucking lazy. The fact that this is already in the game is huge. It's massive. The fact that this is already in the game. But like this whole, yeah, your reward is sense of pride and accomplishment. Nah, nah, nah. I, I mean, yes, to a certain extent, but like, bruh. <laughs> I think you should get like a special achievement or you should get like some type of skin or something. Nah, you can't use that for people with disabilities. The fucking items are in the game for that, okay? They're in the game to, to make the game more accessible. Why are you mad at the game when you don't even know what the end product is? I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not mad. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, there needs to be a reason to not use this. The normal game is not using the accessories. No, the normal game is to throw all of the accessories on. The normal game is you have them so your option is to use them or not. How is that not the normal game? <laughs> Dude, you guys are being really stupid right now. Some of you are being really stupid. Some of you are taking this like an attack. I'm not attacking anybody. There needs to be a fucking incentive. You know what I'm saying? Or else what the fuck is the point? No, I disagree. There needs to be an incentive. Or you run into a problem like God of War did.
Yeah, because in God of War, I was so pissed when I found out you got literally nothing for doing it on Gimme God of War. <laughs> literally nothing. Like not even a skin or anything. We can just agree to disagree, but I do not think having the game play itself should warrant you the same rewards as someone that doesn't do that. I don't think so. I think if you put in more work, you should get more reward. That's what I think. It doesn't matter if it's a single player game. Why does it matter if it's a single player game? So you're saying that people can't take pride in single player games? Dude, it took me eight fucking hours to beat Sva or whatever the fuck her name was. That Valkyrie queen? Why do I care? Take pride in it? No, I no. after I fucking beat her and I realized, you think I was happy? You think I was proud of that? No. I mean, maybe a little. But not enough to but not enough to be like super proud to say, oh, I beat that on Gimme God of War. It didn't matter. Because there's no reason to. There's literally no reason to. And that's my point. Dude, I don't even need a big reason. Just give me the the smallest reason, the tiniest reason. You guys are like, oh well, it's for people with disabilities and shit and all this, and it's for it's for bad people and you know, shit like that. And it's like, dude, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be in the game, man. But if you think for a second that a person that beats this game and goes through the whole game with this shit that plays the game for you should, should have all the same achievements and shit as a person that doesn't, we just agree to disagree. Again, so for those players that just want to focus on the story and just want to see the narrative and don't want to have to worry about action, um, there are a lot of accessories that will simplify a lot of stuff and make it easy for even you players. Um, on the other hand, if there's a lot of those players out there that know I'm great at action games, I want to you know, challenge myself, take off all the accessories and play it on its hardest mode. Um, we also have uh, other types of battle content um, that will challenge those players as well. For example, the arcade mode okay. that I showed you before, where you, um, if you wear these accessories, you're going to get a lower score. So you're going to take those off um, and okay. you know, play the game in the sense where, you can, uh, where it's just you and get those high scores and get on the top. Yeah, of the see, okay, there you go. There you go. That's all I wanted. <laughs> that's all I wanted. Dude, you guys are so fucking stupid, man. No, no, everyone should, everyone should be on the same level. Even the people that have the game play for themselves, everyone should be on the same level. Everyone's equal. No. I can't wait to get this and shit on every fucking gamer that uses these. I'm going to piss so many people off. I'm going to call you motherfuckers trash and shit for using this, man. <laughs> Just to fuck with you. And people are going to take me serious, too. Again, um, you know, we know that with these timely accessories, um, one thing that might happen is that you have, you're going to have streamers that are going to want to be streaming how good they are, and they'll be like, wait a minute, is this guy using, you know, the timely accessories to make everything easy? Well, for streamers, we have um, on screen, if you see at the top left hand, it will show you um, which of the accessories that you're equipping at that See, time. they fucking so, know. Yeah. See, you guys are so stupid. Even, even the devs agree with me. Even the fucking devs agree with me. Yo, holy shit. Some of you that were arguing with me are actually fucking brain damaged. Even the devs agree with me, bro. Streamers won't be able to cheat. <laughs> and they won't have to go in and show their audience, you know, oh, I have Thank this God. or have it on. You'll always be uh -huh. able to know right up there in the top left. Yes. But I guess, yeah, I think we're done showing battle, but... Dude, that's insane. That's, that, that is insane to me. You guys were arguing with me for like 15 minutes over this shit. And then they just said, nah, there's incentives. Literally proving every point that I said right. Holy shit. Oh my God. That's so fucking funny, man. The title of our, you know, panel is, can you pet the Torgle? Oh, yeah, yeah, You can yeah, pet yeah. the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not yeah. that Torgle. That oh. Torgle. Uh, uh, can sorry. you pet the Torgle? Sorry. Torgle. Oh my god! <laughs> no, no! Sorry, ah, oh, somebody said that. Can you kill the Torgo? No. Ted. Ted. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> Treats for Torgo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Right, you just, I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Uh, okay. 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 Okay.
So we had some players wondering about whether the icon versus icon battles are going to be all the same. Um, at the media tour, um, we allowed the media to try out the Ifrit versus Garuda battle. Um, and as this is one of the first icon versus icon battles um, that appear in the game... Dude, I hope when this game comes out, they release some badass skin that you can only get by not using those accessories. I'm going to get that skin, and I'm going to rub it in everybody's fucking face that I have that skin. And if you don't have that skin, you're a fucking shitter, and you're bad. I'm just going to rub it in your fucking face. I'm just going to AFK. You know the tree stream? Nah, 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 nah. We're going to have the you don't use the it plays the game for me accessory stream and i'm just gonna have my character and what you and whatever the fuck it is you get i'm just gonna do a 20 hour stream just to let everybody know that if they don't have that they're shit at the game um the overall difficulty is fairly low um you can think of it as an icon versus icon tutorial but again, not all of them are going to be the same, right? As the story progresses, um, Clive, and Clive gets more used to his icon. Um, the battles will get speedier and more complex and more challenging. And again, showing you too much of these may result in some major spoilers, but we did put together a quick video that shows you <laughs> just enough. So let's take a look at some of those icon versus icon battles. Who the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh shit, that's Titan. Holy shit, Titan is massive! Oh wait, is that- yeah, that was Titan. What the fuck? Or maybe that wasn't Titan. Oh, fuck, I don't know. I, I It kind of looked like Titan. Oh, no, that's Titan, too. That's Titan as well. They're both Titan. Oh, shit. Here's Odin, dude. Oh, man. Ifrit versus Ifrit. Thank you. Okay, that was cool. That was cool. And as you saw, um, the battles in Final Fantasy 16 can sometimes prove a little unorthodox, but they're very unique and they're very exciting. And I'm really excited to show you even more and have more to show you in the near future. Again, so now our final concern has to do with the game content outside of battles. We've seen the action, but what about the RPG? Again, we have RPG elements too. But Again, our counter clock says zero, zero, yes. zero, so we're out of time, but in the very, very near future, we're going to be releasing more information on the RPG elements of Final Fantasy VI. Okay, okay, okay. Hi. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 June 22nd. Oh my God. Right, so Final Fantasy Three months away. on sale worldwide <laughs> June 22nd, 2023. Okay. Okay. And we don't expect any delays. No delay. No delay. <laughs> Uh, and so if you haven't already pre-ordered, please pre-order today. Yes, today. today and every day. <laughs> every... Pre-order every day! <laughs>
<笑>えー、それではすいません駆け足になりましたが最後までえこのパネルありがとうございましたライブストリームの皆さんもすいませんこちらがあったそうなんですがアーカイブしっかりえ用意しますのでぜひそちらも合わせてご覧ください。Alright, thank you everyone for、uh, watching the entire show with us.、Um, for those watching the stream, we really, really apologize about the lag. Again, watch the archive. Thank you for everyone for coming. Thank you. That was good. That was good. Yo, yo, yo. I just want to say, man, I just want to say, you know, you know I, dude, I, I am so in love with this game, and I can't wait for this game. And,、um, you know, oh, wait, what? What? Oh. Oh, you mean. Oh, you mean that you think that the people that don't use those accessories should also have a different. Oh, you think that sh you should cater to everybody? Oh, you. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so, so basically everything I said you agreed with. Dude, that is, that is just wonderful. That is wonderful. Beautiful. Beautiful. I knew I was right, man. I knew I was right, man. You know, it's really. Sometimes it's just so exhausting being right all the time, man. I mean, but, but, but I mean, you already know. You already know.